This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! And guess. Welcome back, everyone, to the final episode of Case Free of Miles Edgeworth Face Attorney Investigations. Oh, I hope at least. Uh, it should be. We're on, uh, we're on the end part for you. I think this is the last testimony. Wait, hang on. Good. Okay, volume works. Excellent. Everything should be in working order. Uh, last time we discovered the true culprit, Dame Gustavia, was a colossal butt, but slightly less of a colossal butt than the victim. Than the victim. <laughs> uh, was an even bigger colossal butt and, and like, kidnapped be, his son, right? And, well, that, we That's don't know. Presumably. We don't know that. But also, would you believe me, Marty, if I said they were not the biggest butts in the whole game? <laughs> no, that's very true. Because <laughs> we still have two cases after this. Two cases. <laughs> I, oh, in the in the game, not in the series. No, not in, not. Oh, I'm talking about just in this game. Oh, just in this game. Eh, there's there's gonna be worse. There's gonna be worse. But uh, no, in the whole series, like m world's most colossal butt awards go to like. Oh no, uh, Ernest Amano got won the 2009 Butt of the Year award. <laughs> I have a million dollars hung by the haunted house. <laughs> Him, also Von Karma, also just Dahlia. In I would say Dahlia, uh, Dahlia, on guard, Gavin, uh, bad Gavin. Oh, bad Gavin. Yeah, he's uh, not a colossal. Gant, butt. perhaps. Gant. <laughs> Definitely. Gant. Let's spoil all the villains from the it's previous games. Who, who would be like, I'm gonna watch Edgeworth Prosecutor's Anyhow. Path, like episode thirty. Also, fun fact: we uh, we are, we haven't even finished <laughs> the third case of this game. We already are up to a higher episode count than our very first Ace Attorney Let's Play. To be fair, our first Ace Attorney Let's Play. I think all of our videos though were like an hour. Yeah, they and were these very were long. We're trying to keep at a slightly more around a half hour. Watch Half hour to 45 minutes. Okay, it's been 18 years. It's been 18 years since I murdered Dover. Cool. No matter how many years have passed, your sin will never fade. Oh, right. This was when we were talking and I was like, oh, bro, but you left the country. Ha -ha. Yeah. <laughs> Sir Prosecutor, I'm sure you must have realized by now. There's no way you can arrest me. Yeah, there is. Arresting you would be a piece of cake for someone like Mr. Edgeworth. Mm, I want cake. This is that right, sir. Um, hmm. I don't think it will be that simple. <laughs> it's impossible for you to arrest me. No. The statute of limitations for murder in this country is 15 years, is it not? Except for the SL9 incident where it was two for some reason. For some reason. Even though it was a serial killing. It's possible uh. that some of your actions 18 years ago were not affected by the statute. <laughs> it's been so long, I've got nothing left to hide. Ask me anything you'd like. Very well. Could you explain to me what you did during these past 18 years? Certainly. After the contest, the medicine from the recipe book allowed me to fully cure my taste disorder. Then I immediately headed to Zhang Fa to train my design skills. So he wasn't ever seen... <laughs> so he wasn't seen ever since, in case because he was in a foreign country. Yeah. Indeed. And I'm certain that I went abroad to train. About one year after the case. Right before Sir Master's final trial began. I'm surprised he was allowed to leave if he was involved in the incident. And thanks to my training, I am now a confectioner unparalleled in both taste and design. I am still so disturbed that his coat is now just like dingy brown, but his hat is perfectly red still. <laughs> I got a new hat. No, he didn't. There's blood all over that thing. You should not be proud of a position earned through the sacrifices of others. <laughs> you can't bake a cake without breaking a few eggs. Sacrifices were necessary for my goal. That's horrible. Say what you will. The fact still remains that you cannot arrest me. <sighs> I have to get more information out of Mr. Gustavia. Was there anything of note in his recent testimony? His training in Shane Paul. Yeah, you, you definitely mentioned that. That is where we need to go. Could you please add the details about Mr. Master's final trial to your testimony? Certainly. I do not witness Sir Master's final trial. <laughs> wow. So you weren't called as a witness by Prosecutor Von Karma or my father? I had more important things to do than attend the trial. I was much too busy trying to master the art of desserts. I mean, I would be too. <laughs> Your old man did try to find him, but could never get hold of a contact address. So he took the initiative and left before he could be summoned to court. The statute of limitations for murder in this country is 15 years, is it not? Yep. In other words, it's impossible for you to arrest me. Um, uh, but you see... It's too early to say for sure that it's impossible. 
Just give it up, Sir Prosecutor. Just like your father before you. You cannot catch me! I feel like he's <sighs> so dumb that he's had the most perfect murder and all of these things planned out. And then, like, the, the thing that's gonna make him slip up is that he didn't realize leaving the country resets the time, <laughs> basically. I don't know, it's... it's. You think it's anticlimactic a little bit? A little bit. And I also think it's, um... So stupid. You've... Like, that's that's kind of how it is, <laughs> wait, though, right? Wait, leaving the country is, is a bad for me if I committed a crime? What? what? Oh, also, I should mention, this overall game has a theme. I'm, I want to see if you can pick up on the theme just throughout this, the, the first three cases and then the next two cases. The, the, the theme is child abandonment. <laughs> I thought you were going to say child abuse. <laughs> that too. It was, no. be it was because of Von Karma's interference that my father couldn't find the truth. And now I'm about to lose the truth due to the statute of limitations. Mr. Edgeworth, we can't give up now. Kay, you're useless. <laughs> Your father's last case. We have to see it through to the end. Now, you understand why Kay is my least favorite of the assistants? The only reason she is my least favorite is because she is not used for anything. Otherwise, Other than her would... cell phone. It's like, we can recreate the crime Otherwise, scene like two Otherwise, I think she's better than most of them. Like, I think How? she's better than Trucy. Personality-wise. They're close. They're close. They're close. Maya, of course, is way better. Pearl, Pearl's course, way, is way better. better. Emma, Emma. Emma Sky is like cool. <laughs> She's like, I'm a scientist. Yeah. But Kay's whole gimmick is like, I steal things, but I don't actually, but I do, and I pretend to, but I don't actually. <laughs> her outfit's really weird. Her hair's really weird. Kay's got the coolest of the assistant theme songs, though. What is her theme song? <laughs> Never mind. You, have, you don't even remember it. Ooh, nice. We can't let the culprits steal the truth. That's our job. As great thieves! I'm not a great thief, but it is as you say. Dang Gustavia, I won't let you escape. <laughs> By all means, do try your best. Kay is the only one that I've never had problems voicing because of she's the same voice as me, basically. Yeah, and that's Trucy is and Trucy is well because she's just like we... Paul, like it's Apollo, what the heck? I what only confessed heck? my crime because the statute of limitations had expired. Oh no. <laughs> Who has been your least favorite character to voice? Uh, Maggie Bird. Not Desiree Delight. <laughs> Who was that again? You gave her like five different voices. <laughs> Who was Desiree again? Oh, Biker you, Girl. Biker Girl? Uh, still Maggie Bird. Because hate... Maggie Bird came back. Twice. <laughs> Twice. I was like, oh, she's a one-off character. Desiree had one. a one-off cameo in this case. That doesn't matter. So you confessed because you happened. knew that the statute of limitations had already expired. <laughs> of course. Why, who would confess otherwise? Well, I would have preferred to carry the truth of Dover's murder to my grave. Why is that? I am now the world's best confectioner. I wouldn't want to have such a trifling matter affect my path as an artisan of desserts. Yeah, being a murderer is going to hurt your chances of going back on British Bake Off. <laughs> Ooh, they would have a problem with that. <laughs> so you let Mr. Master take the fall while you protected your own position. You alone, I cannot forgive. My path for is for me to decide. I don't need your forgiveness. Miles, it's been a long time since your Uncle Ray has been this angry. Ooh. I feel the same way. I cannot allow this man to go unchecked. I can't see how he was able to es I can see how he was able to escape justice for 18 years. Isn't there some way we can catch him? Mr. Gustavi is an amateur at law, after all. He's no match for a real ace attorney. <laughs> I'm sure there's some flaw in his plan that we can exploit. An amateur at law, huh? My thing that I'm trying to remember... What is the timeline for this game versus the other ones? Does this happen after the first Ed Edgeworth investigations? After the Phoenix? K right? is here, so yes. Okay, but I'm... This takes place... Literally, I think, ten days after the first Edgeworth game. Okay. And I think the end of this game takes place one week before the flashback case in Apollo where Phoenix loses his badge. So this takes place after the first Free Ace Attorney so games. So somewhere, somewhere, somehow... Mr. Mr. Wright's like going out doing stuff. Yeah, we that saw him. So we saw him in the boat and right. the first uh, Edgeworth game. That was game. so stupid that they made that case. Was like, and then he lost his badge. 
<laughs> you, you hated that case. I hated that case, man. <laughs> That's a shame. <laughs> it's not... Well, you I like think, parts of it. I think so many people have the same problem I do in that they basically just changed his whole character. He went from, like, I'm a goofus who's an ace attorney to be like, oh, like, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, no. And then he's just kind of, like, there with his weird hat. <laughs> yeah, his papa hat. He's like, hat. yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm raising the kids. Like, <laughs> your kid? Nope. Just yeah, I, I do have a few problems with Phoenix's characterization in Apollo, for sure. Yeah. All I right. don't know what he'd be like in the later ones, though. <laughs> the later ones, it's basically like, he's back to his old self. He just was in a slump for a bit. Basically. He was just depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Could you please add the details about your training in Zane Fa to your testimony? Certainly. Ooh. Afterwards, I trained in Zane Fa to become the world's best confectioner. You trained in Zane Fa? After the incident 18 years ago, I left on a journey. I had already decided to hone my candy crafting skills in Zane Fa. Thanks to that. Let's go. My design sense is incomparable to what it was in the past. Whoa! That's awesome! Oh, I'm I still here! He was there. I also <laughs> forgot that uh, someone's drawing beauties. And Courtney's just watching this happen as well. <laughs> if you ha you may have it if you'd like. Oh, sweet! So he trained in Zanefar. The statute of limitations for murder is fifty. I'm right. surprised that Courtney has not said a single thing. She often doesn't until she's like, I am now have my rebuttal ready at Edgeworth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you <but> suck! <laughs> basically. Statute of limitations, you left the country! Yeah, I immediately picked up on that. It was really simple. One of the conditions regarding the statute of limitations for murder is as follows. If the suspect flees to a foreign country, the time limit is on hold until the suspect returns. So the statute of limitations was suspended while you were overseas. That's right! The statute of limitations stopped when you were training in Zane Fa. Indeed. It is possible that the statute of limitations has not expired yet. Mr. Gustavia, please tell us how long you stayed in Zhang Fa. One week. <laughs> yeah, <that's exactly. laughs> He's like, I had the one month crash training course with British Bake Off. <laughs> like 12 weeks. <laughs> 12 weeks. <laughs> it would be exactly three years. Three years. Wait, look, let's calmly think this over. The case occurred 18 years ago. The statute of limitations 15, is 15, 15 years, and he was away for three. 15 plus three is exactly 18 years! You I'm can sure math! Of it. You can math! Mr. Edgeworth, we did it! The statute of limitations hasn't expired yet! <laughs> exactly 18 years, you say? How amusing! You'd have to look at the calendar. <laughs> So he realized. What, what are you laughing? The statute of limitations still applies. Okay, it's frustrating, but the case occurred in December. It's April now, which means, strictly speaking, the case occurred 18 years and four months ago. But does the trial extension bajillion times count? Hmm, good question. His stay abroad wasn't quite enough. We were just a few months short. Not enough! Not enough! Not enough! Th that's Like I said, it's impossible for you to arrest me! <laughs> he must have known all along. He must have known all about this when he confessed to his crime. No, I think it just worked out for him. He fake sweat. <laughs> yeah. Prosecutor Edgeworth, it really is a shame. If it was just one year earlier, the statute of limitations would not have run out. No. <sighs> Those who undermine the Goddess of Law's verdict must bear the burden of their crimes. It seems you were simply incapable. No! No! This can't be the end! So, Monsieur Gustavia really is beyond the law's reach? Kate, what are you thinking? Objection! If you're thinking of taking matters into your own hands, I implore you to reconsider. There still might be a way to bring this man to justice. What? 
Miles, remember the facts of the case 18 years ago. Just as you were mistaken earlier, it seems Mr. Gustavia has also overlooked one key detail. Overlooked? He wasn't present during Mr. Master's final trial, so he doesn't know the outcome of the trial. There may yet be a way for you to arrest him. Miles, look over that book on Statute of Limitations again. Pull out the kid's book. <laughs> Pull out the kid's book right now. Statute of Limitations. For murder, it's 15 years, theft, it's 7 years. If the suspect flees to or lives in a foreign country, the time limit is on hold until the suspect returns. If possible, accomplices are put on trial. The countdown is stopped until the verdict is reached, then resumes. If charges are pressed to demand compensation, the statute is frozen for the length of that procedure. If charges are pressed to demand compensation? What does that mean? I think we went over this last time. Yeah, but I, I, uh... So regardless, I think because there are possible accomplices on trial, the countdown is stopped. Therefore, we've got it because he was going on trial for like a year after. Is that the case? He was in trial for a year, yes. So then we're fine. We're good to go. Because, he, yep, he was convicted as an accomplice to the murder. Arre arrest him! You know what to do? 17 years ago, Master was falsely declared guilty for a serious crime. Right. Thanks to that verdict, we aren't out of ammunition just yet. Mr. Shields, you don't mean. We got this. Those who undermine the Goddess of Law's verdict must bear the burden of their crimes. I am Mr. Master's attorney. I can't use his suffering as a weapon in good conscience. For that reason, I'll leave the rest up to you. Oh no, is this gonna be one of those where it's like, choose at the end? Do you want him to convicted or do you want him not convicted or whatever? Or like, do you want to like arrest Gustavi or do you want to save Master? Yeah. The be. trial my father and Von Karma battled over. Can I use that to arrest Mr. Gustavia? What should I do? Should I raise an objection? Wh what? Why would you not? Why would you <laughs> Well, I guess you can just go off. <laughs> my father and Von Karma, their paths diverged. One revealed the truth, and the other concealed it. The path that I choose is the one that reveals the truth. Are you quite finished thinking in your brain? <laughs> How else no. would you think? <laughs> in your heart. In your brain. <laughs> I see no further reason to prolong this trial. It's not a trial. I hereby find Dane Gustavia not guilty. But you didn't slam the gavel. Overruled! Gustavia will stand in court for his crimes. Do you mean to say you have found a way to arrest Mr. Gustavia? Exactly. I'll show Judge Courtney the evidence that will <laughs> shatter the statute of limitations. This is not that big of a penalty. It's only about this much. <laughs> it's the final evidence, but it's only a little bit. It'll be this it much. much. <laughs> it's like the all of it. The IS-7 case file. Which page are you referring to? That would be the suspect data. The suspect data page. At the trial, Jeffrey Master was found guilty of being an accomplice to murder. And it took one year to arrive at this verdict. Right. That is indeed true. This book lists conditions in which the statute of limitations can be put on hold. The first, as I have said earlier, is if the suspect flees to a foreign country. But there's one more. If possible accomplices are on trial, the countdown is stopped until the verdict is reached. What? What are you saying? Sir Master was found to be an accomplice? That's right. Mr. Master was sentenced after you had left for your trip to Zane Fa. And he was found guilty not of being the culprit, but of being an accomplice. But it seems you didn't know that. <laughs> That's absurd! Sir Master never committed any crime to begin with! You should certainly know this! Of course we do. That is why we are going to free him. To that end, we will shatter the one remaining obstacle in our way. The Statute of Limitations! You fled to Zane Fa for three years, and Jeffrey Master was being tried as an accomplice for one year. Put it all together, we see that the total time limit for this case is 19 years. In other words, the Statute of Limitations is not over for you yet! The goddess of law is under Arian in her judgments. However, it seems that the prosecutor at the time was not. 
I cannot believe it, but it seems like this case will have to be reopened. This is absurd! You cannot arrest me! For the last 18 years, an innocent man has suffered greatly in your stead. Mr. Gustavia, it's now time for you to atone for your crimes. No! I have finally earned my place as the greatest confectioner in the world. To achieve that goal, I cast everything aside, even my own son. That was your own fault. What a shame. Yeah. You can't run from your crimes any longer. Dang Gustavi's been taken into custody, sir! Hooray! Um, uh, yeah, so, yo, you're up next, right? Yes, I understand. That's right, because she did totally just gas somebody with poison gas. Oh, yeah! <laughs> that was her fault! Yup! Kate. Everyone. I'm truly sorry for all the trouble I've caused. Norm waits like, oh, you, you stole something, committed perjury, uh, you attacked a person, uh, we, we don't really care. <laughs> now yeah, now so it's like, oh, no. <laughs> it's like, oh, Max, you, you smashed the guy on the head with a broken bottle. <laughs> That's, that, no one really cares about that. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone, okay. And thank you very much for casting Monsieur Gustavia. What you did cannot be overlooked even if the crimes you committed were in response to a past injustice. As a prosecutor, I am terribly sorry for what happened. No, I'm only getting what I deserve, since I was the cause of all this. Kate, will you have me be it? Will you have me as your attorney? Oh, I thought he was gonna say something else. He would've been cute. I'm not quite the same useless kid I was 18 years ago. I won't let them find you guilty. Looks like she's crying soap. She looks like she's crying clouds. <laughs> uh, sorry to interrupt, but it's time to go. Yes, alright. I ship Ray and Kate together. I would be okay with that. Uncle Ray needs someone to hug. <laughs> he does, apparently. <laughs> Judge Courtney, I can't help but feel that you've been dishonest with me. Dishonest? Whatever do you mean? Well, you're smiling smugly when I accuse you of that, so that's certainly not the helping. so weird, too. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> it literally is the umbrage smile. <laughs> no, the umbrage smile is... No one can see you. Oh, it's it's closed, closed lips. Uh, that's yeah, that's true. It's it's if Umbridge opened her mouth <laughs> when she yeah. smiled. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> you said that the verdict could not be overturned, but that was not the case. A reinvestigation and a retrial were obviously required as soon as the missing body was found. I have no need to answer you. It seems she doesn't intend to ever give me an answer. And the world's biggest colossal butt goes to... Courtney! Courtney! <laughs> Woo! Prosecutor Edgeworth, the PIC has you in its sights. They will receive a report on everything you did here today. And you will most likely be required to appear before them. And then the PIC is, um... Winston Payne. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> The PIC stand. The oh, PIC. this isn't that big of a deal. It's like, what's the PIC? It's like, does it stand for like the, I don't Prosecutorial know. Investigation like, Committee? No, it stands for, it stands for pain in charge. <laughs> pain in charge? <laughs> That's me. That's me. I'm the one who's been prosecuting the longest, so I was a natural choice for this position. <laughs> pain in charge. <laughs> he I made love his that. own organization. <laughs> organization for a team, but it's pain. <laughs> Pain in every single black. Instead of 14 Xehanorts, it's 14 Winston Pains. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't 
couldn't catch him because you'd be like, oh, we got rid of Winston Payne, right? It's like, no, nope, nope, he's one. back. <laughs> They're all spelled differently. Like, one's pain, like you feel pain. One of them's a window pain. <laughs> one of them's pain wow. with a Y. <laughs> wow. Now then, I shall take my leave. 22-year-old. Pain in charge. I love that. Hold on! Mr. Edgeworth cut the real bad guy. Didn't he do his job as a prosecutor? We don't care about that. <laughs> no matter how things turn out, I will never regret what I did here today. Mr. Edgeworth. Hey! Prosecutor Edgeworth! What is it? Why are you always sticking your nose into cases that you're not even involved with? My duty is to reveal the truth. Not only as a prosecutor, it's just who I am. I don't get it. <laughs> as long as you continue to think that being the best is all that matters, I doubt you ever will. Well, I don't get that either. I'm going home to good old mom's apple pie. <laughs> yeah. What was that all about? There is much he still needs to learn. What is it? I knew Greggy's son could do it. I think I might be falling for you. Of course. Who doesn't fall for Edgeworth? Everyone loves Edgeworth. <laughs> and Edgeworth hates everybody. And Edgeworth's literally like, just leave me with my tea. And, and my, my chess. And my <laughs> trophy. <laughs> and <laughs> my steel no samurai prosper. figurine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks for helping, Jeffy. Well, um... Yo, Edgy! Great job solving that case! I'm still in this, remember? Well... I was busy drawing, so I really didn't catch all of it. Huh? Where did Katie and Justy run off to? Loris, you really weren't paying much attention at all, were you? Well, I hate to admit it, but Larry's doodles actually helped us out a few times. I should say something nice to him. <gasps> Don't glare at me like that! I'm sorry! It was not my intent to glare at you. <laughs> that patented Edgeworth glare. You're just like your old man. He doesn't glare at people. Uh, is that so? Well then, Uncle Ray's gonna go pay Mr. Master a visit. You guys wanna tag along? Let's get him some burgers. I'd be happy to accompany you. Oh, me too! April 2nd, 4.56 p.m., detention center. And then we find out Visitors he's room. dead. And it was all for naught. And that's case four. And that's case four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Owen Wilson loves that idea. <laughs> I don't know why I sounded <laughs> that's like... A, that's, that's not even Owen Wilson's voice at all. That's Snuffy from <laughs> Sesame Street. <laughs> oh, Lord. Owen Wilson is more Owen like this. Wilson. Your dad was a great whack bat player, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> Where's all this bird? I don't I still, think Santa has two I mean, feet. You know, the, you <laughs> more know when than people, two feet. <laughs> you know when people ask that question, like, "Oh man, if you got a million dollars, what would you spend it on?" One of the things I would definitely spend it on would be to reanimate one of the scenes from <laughs> Midnight in Paris, so that it's all cars. That's so like the one like thing you do with a million dollars. Not the one thing. Animation is expensive. Okay, if I won the lottery, it might be more than a million dollars. It depends on the lottery. And then it's just, it's a short scene. It's just the one with the shower. How did, how did your pearls get in the shower? I, I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> so, this Jeffrey Master, what is he like? Oh, he's a really nice and gentle guy. He's still doing his best to make people happy. He I, actually cooks desserts for I'm the inmates. I'm really scared. I bet the dude's dead. <laughs> Nowadays, all the prisoners and guards look forward to the snack time at 3 o'clock. <laughs> wow, that's nice. I want to eat his desserts, too. Do you really think there'd be another murder in the prison? We already had murder in the prison. Maybe it wasn't in the prison. But this maybe time the warden's arrested, so <laughs> she can't be her. And it really was Dogen this, this time. time. I hate desserts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna <always> kill him. <laughs> Do it. It could be he's kidnapped. Like someone jailbreaked him. No, out. you said dead. <laughs> It could, yeah, I said dead. Someone they, kidnapped him, put him out of the prison, and then <laughs> killed him. Just so it would be a different location. Yeah. We took him to McDonald's. I already read that. Did you? Yeah. I didn't think so. So the chocolate cake we saw in the prison the other day. He was the one who made it. I forgot about that. Prison kitchen. Uh, oh, he's there. He's alive. Oh, Gummy, why are you here? I heard everybody was coming to visit, so I escorted Mr. Master myself. Oh, should I give him, like, an oh, old, older crap. voice? He looks so... blah. He's still in really good shape, but, like... <laughs> he works out. He looks... 
like, um... He, he was in his late 30s, okay, I think. Okay, he me? looks really smug there. He's like, yeah. mm, I'm better than you. I feel like he looks like one of the, um... God, like... He looks like a dude from Fire Someone Rattle. from Liberty's Kids. Like, one of the, like, generals. <laughs> Washington? No, not Dustin Hoffman. Oh, wait, no, he was Benedict Arnold. He was Benedict Arnold! I'm sorry! The only thing yeah. I've ever seen Dustin Hoffman in. Yeah! <laughs> Hello, one and all. I am Jeffrey Master. Prosecutor, Miles Edgeworth, at your service. And I'm Mr. Edgeworth's assistant, Kay Farnay! Ho oh, it is a pleasure to meet you all. Mr. Master, Miles is your old defense attorney's son. You mean Mr. Gregory's? Your father has done so much for me. He and got yet, me in prison. <laughs> I betrayed his good faith when I made the false confession. I've heard the details from Mr. Shields. Mr. Master, I came here today to tell you everything we've learned about 18 years ago. 18 years ago. Let's have a real long chat over Kate. Kate committed a crime for my sake? Why would she do such a thing? With that same smug. Yeah, I- oh, oh, the one thing I should mention, this game pushed the DS to its limits. And there are a couple of cases where it's like, oh, that they should have made new sprites for this, but they didn't because they literally ran out of space. Oh. I think I think okay. that's what happened. There, are, in a, so aside from this, I believe there are two pretty blatant cases of like, well, they they ran out of space to make sprites for that. Where it's like, I'll, I'll, oh, I'll no. see if you I'll see if you can figure them out okay. as we go. Good eye. I didn't even catch this. Miss <laughs> Hall has been trying to prove your innocence for the past eighteen years. She was willing to do whatever it took to save you. Kate, she shouldn't have gone through so much trouble for an old man who let her down. Mr. Master, I don't think you realize just how much Miss Hall cares for you. I have something here that clearly proves the two of you share an unbreakable bond. It's a teapot. An unbreakable bond? Yeah, no, it's Pro a breakable bond. <laughs> proof of the bond between Jeffrey Master and Catherine Hall. This should give Mr. Master some peace of mind. It would be the... The sketch of the beauty. <laughs> <laughs> we drew some pretty girls for you. Okay. She's like, this is this made my day. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We still have the smeared chocolate. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Gustavia's family photo. <laughs> you should check it out. <laughs> what well, it says, love like a bloody rock salt lamp. <laughs> <laughs> the statute of limitations, but it has a love poem in there for you. <laughs> <laughs> How I love thee. Let me count the limitations of my love. <laughs> No. You really, the gas burner. It's a little used, <laughs> the but... The poison gas. <laughs> no, no, that was what he used to melt the... Is it uh, just the teapot? It's not the teapot. It's oh. the chocolates. The chocolates. These chocolates. Did Kate make them? She did. They're really sweet and tasty. She's been making these chocolates for the past 18 years. So that she could give them to you whenever you returned. Kate... <laughs> I'm sure they're very, very sweet. Yes, they truly are. Unfortunately, I cannot give them to you now, but... I can hand them over later in secret, pal. It is against the rules, but... Right now, I don't have the authority to stop him. They're poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> they're poisoned. He dies. <laughs> Another person case. <Yeah. laughs> oh, thank you very much. Say, you remind me of an old friend. Do you know of a Detective Bad? Ooh, we know a lot of course I do! Detective Bad is my number one role model, pal! He's, He's in, in jail, jail. too! <laughs> How uncanny. Talk about fate. Mr. Master, it's looking like we'll be able to get you out soon. I can only apologize that it took 18 years to do so. He's working on it. Raymond, I'm the one who should be apologizing. No, that's not it. What I really should be saying is... Thank you. Mr. Master. Now it's my turn to wait for Kate. I'll make her favorite sweets every day until she returns. Please look after her, Raymond. You got it. The IS-7 incident. The case I inherited from my father. Because it's the inherited turnabout. After 18 year long years, it's finally coming to a close. Miles. 
Thanks for today. I'm sorry for leaving that final decision to you. No, I made that decision on my own free will. Huh? What are you talking about? To arrest Gustavia, we had no choice but to use Mr. Master's false charge. To use Mr. Master's false charge, which I was originally supposed to protect him from. The attorney inside of me simply could not do it. So that's how it was. But, after this Uncle Ray is going to try to clear away that false charge as well. Yes, I understand, yeah, because it's like, well, if we want to convict Gustavi, we would have to say that Master is an accomplice. But, one thing to note, the wording here just says if any possible accomplices are put on yeah. trial. So it could be like, well, we thought he was, but it turns out he wasn't. But he was still tried as an accomplice, yeah, so yeah. he's still on hold. The law is crazy, man. Yeah, it is. We got that whole speech about it at the end of Apollo. Yeah. I forgot about that entirely. Yeah. I feel like half of Apollo I forgot, because it's either like a mix of like... It's my like, underwear! No, okay, no, like, here's Apollo in a nutshell. It's like, it's my underwear! Here's Mr. It's someone else's Mr. underwear. Mr. Hat! Uh, d -d 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 with the guitar. That's the Apollo! Games. You don't have to play it, guys. Uh, going to get Taco Bell during the break. That okay. happened a few times. That happened a few times. Uh, Gavin being like... Spark Brushel. Spark Brushel. Art oh, chick. But to be, is to be fair... That's the only game. I, never mind. No, I, I'm wrong. Trials and Tribulations also did not have a lot of heart. <laughs> it didn't. Trials and Tribulations did not have a lot of heart. It had old bag. That's why everybody likes it. <laughs> the real reason. What? But if they find out about the false charge, they won't be able to arrest Mr. Gustavia, right? That's true. It sure is a contradiction in the law. The way the law is right now, it isn't always completely right. A contradiction in the law. Well, who knows what'll happen. The law evolves and grows just like all of us do. Just like Uncle Ray and Miles have grown up. You know? People in the law both grow. Miles. To fight crime as a prosecutor or to save people as a defense attorney. I want you to think carefully about how you want to live your life from now on. I hope Ray doesn't die. I will. Well, if you ask Uncle Ray, he'll always be welcome down at the office. Alrighty then, looks like it's time for Uncle Ray to get going. Next time I see you, I'll be sure to thank you again. Is Ray your favorite new character? Prob... bubbly. Really though, thanks for today. That was a long day. <laughs> that was a very long day. <laughs> Mr. Shields seemed to be in a bit of a hurry. Indeed. I should be the one thanking him. I was able to face my father's last case because of him. When I was young, I wanted to become a great defense attorney like my father. However, under Prosecutor Von Karma, I learned the ways of a prosecutor. Thanks to a certain friend, I was able to discover my own path in life. Thank you. However, right now, there are forces trying to take me off of the prosecutor's path. Maybe now is the perfect time to think about how I should live my life. Ooh, yeah, Edgeworth. New year, new him. April, April 2nd, 7.29pm, Edgeworth Law Offices. Gregory, I'm sorry that it took so long. Mm. It may have taken 18 years, but finally we've proven Mr. Master's innocence. Miles, your son, helped me with that. The way he fought for the truth. He was just like you, Gregory. And then it... Oh, I love that photo! Yeah. Where you're like, I that's not Ray! <laughs> At the beginning of the case. It didn't look... It looked like... He looked like a girl. I'm dead serious. Like, In that photo with his hairdo, I, I can see that. To me, it, he did. Edgeworth has the exact same, like, weird expression. Yeah. <laughs> all the time, but... I'm still not the kind of attorney you were. But I will forever carry on the convictions I inherited from you. Mm -hmm. And if I can. Because <laughs> they took the photo together. That's so perfect! <laughs> together with him. I just, it's like, I just, just that's me in every photo. I'm just like, why are you taking this? To fight crime it's as a, a memory. To fight crime as a prosecutor or to save people as a defense attorney. The path I choose is what will be revealed in the next case. Probably. <laughs> The end. The end. Okay.
I want to see what it's Turnabout called. on a train? No. Uh, a brand new episode has been added. It is The Forgotten Turnabout. Didn't we already have one called that? No. The Forgotten Turnabout. Oh, my, my memories. You're so hazy. It's like I got hit on That's the, the head. That's the lost turnabout. It's, it's like I got hit on the head I, with, with a fire hydrant, and now I don't know how to be a prosecutor. <laughs> that was the lost turnabout. Yeah, I know. But the, the, forgotten the forgotten turnabout. turnabout. Oh, guess who that could be? <laughs> I'm pretty wet. sure it's the best. <laughs> <laughs> Gregory was for episode three. All right, forgotten turnabout. That's going to be one heck of an interesting case. I'm gonna. I'm looking it's forward a, to recording that one. It's a um, murder in a McDonald's, but they don't call it McDonald's. They're just like it's a Mickey D's Chicken Shack. <laughs> <laughs> McBurger Bell. <laughs> McBurger Bell. <laughs> Spy Fox works there apparently. That'd be great. <laughs> Anyhow, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. I'm gonna get Marty's predictions on what the case is gonna be about, and then we're actually gonna start the case because that's always fun. Yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.